Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Delta Force 2. Fortunately, I had to uh, re-record this episode because I chose the wrong recording setting. So we are doing... Uh, I think it was Hourglass? Yeah, the virus has been attached to a bomb and hid it in a refinery near Sakumi. Infiltrate the refinery, find the bomb, and secure it for the CBC. Daniil must have anticipated our moves. The Scud launchers and the convoy were meant to divert attention from their primary goal. They have occupied a refinery on the outskirts of Sukumi and have hidden a timed explosive device designed to spread the virus upon detonation. Demands have been made and time is short. Proceed to the refinery and locate the device. Bravo will insert 800 meters southeast of the target and serve as the primary search element. Alpha and Charlie teams will move in and provide security within the refinery. Once you've located the bomb, radio King 6 for a CDC recovery team to come in for cleanup. This is a highly volatile situation. The virus is stored in protective ampoules that will allow it to spread in the event of an explosion. One stray shot could set off a lethal chain reaction. Thousands of lives are riding on this one. So I guess there were supposed to be scuds on that train from last time. Now as far as everything here... This all looks pretty good. I don't really want explosives because of the refinery, so I think we're going to jump in with that. This is Black Widow. All King elements are in the LZ. Acknowledged. Break. Bravo, King 6. Find that bomb. Take your shots carefully. This is a volatile sight. King 6, Charlie 1. We've got a lot of movement. Looks like one and two man patrols. This is Alpha One. I got a bad guy to the northwest of Bravo's insertion point. Oh, that was a good shot on his part. These guys are registering as friendly now. I kind of like the IFF simulation. And the trucks they rode in on have now blown up inexplicably. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't quite know why they do that, but... So now we can proceed along our waypoints to the Walter. And we can faintly hear the sounds of someone trying to shoot us through a hill. Which unfortunately, I think that's something that lasts with the Delta Force AI, at least all the way through Black Hawk Down and probably into Extreme as well. I like the nice terrain contrast they have here. The rolling green hills with trees, and then we have this rocky road and these rocky mountains. See the refinery in the distance. Apparently no one lives within 10 miles of it, which in this case is probably a good thing. There you are. Charlie team in position. I feel like for the fall damage, because I feel like I take more fall damage, or at least I take fall damage way sooner than I should, is I feel like they're only checking every so many frames for contact with the ground. So you get like a Looney Tunes thing where, you know, you run off the cliff and then the game realizes you're off the cliff and then it drops you down. See? See what I mean there? Where I feel like, you know, it's... I, I should have fallen as soon as I walked off whatever edge that was, whereas I feel like I didn't start falling until well past after I walked off, but... I don't know, maybe someone can confirm if what my eyes are telling me is uh, true or bogus or not, but... Howdy there. Alright, switch to semi-auto, full mag, just because, and, uh, okay, now we're going to kind of try to circle in because I don't want the, I have no problems not blowing this place up, it's the AI that has a problem with not blowing this place up. And actually, last time I did this, what I did was I rushed in, I found the bomb, killed the guy Guardium, and then, uh, that was enough to get a mission complete. 
But then the AI blew up the refinery somehow anyways. Which fortunately didn't cancel out my mission complete, but... Oh great, we got this glitchiness again. Fox, I swear to God. Alpha one is down. Unfortunately, I don't think you can actually crawl through there. Otherwise, I'd totally do that. Right. Trying to clear through here without taking a shot or blowing up the facility. Oh. oh, let me in. Whew. Good work, Bravo. All elements, mission complete. All right. With that, that, uh, That will end our campaign for Operation Common Resolve. Unfortunately, we don't get a debriefing, but we can assume we finished clearing out the refinery and um, and that Daniil is severely crippled and hopefully done for in the near term. And that the lives of, uh, was it Sakumi? Yeah, so the lives of everyone in Sakumi are saved, so. Yay us! So next time we can begin Operation Global Enforcement, but until then, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then.